Here's a quick update on a project I've been working on for a long time. It's been a little over a year now, I guess. Obviously, I haven't been working on it a whole lot. I keep neglecting it, I keep putting it aside, I get into it, and then I get busy with other stuff, and I have to put it down, and then it takes me forever to get back to it again, it seems. But, uh, anyways, the last couple of days I decided that i got to get my ass in gear and get some more work done on this, so I'm taking a break from this kind of stuff for a couple days and uh, come back to work on this. I finished up the front fenders today. Well, I not really finished, I guess. The stuff to make the mounting bracket for the back and whatever else, but did the welding on them. Made uh, the angled parts here. They were just, just roughed in flat before, so I cut those angles Sheared some pieces, welded them in. I made the cab mounts and rear spring mounts here the last few days. The last couple of days, I should say. I made them yesterday. And the uh, last time I was working on it, I made this front axle. No, that's not going to stay in there, this piece of welding rod. Um, I got some tiny little scale nuts that... Um, I'm hoping to thread the U-bolts with a die that I bought and then wind the nuts on just more for aesthetics than anything else that springs are actually bolted through instead of having a pin on the springs they actually bolt through and into the axle so they're not going anywhere whether the U-bolts have nuts on them or not same thing a little um, scale size nuts that are going to go on the wheels eventually I get rid of those ones those are 172 bolts so I got some little tiny brass uh, nuts that actually look like lug nuts so they should be kind of cool the expensive little buggers there's eleven dollars for fifty of them US so anyways they'll go on the rear as well pretty things up make it look a little more to scale Anyways, I just started machining the radiator the last couple hours here. I haven't got much done to it yet. It should actually sit back a little bit further yet, I think. Not much, but a little bit. So, I gotta trim the rails here a little bit more at the top so that it sits in there properly. On and on and on. There'll be some more brackets that are made on top of those brackets that I built yesterday. And then I'll weld in some crap in the firewall area there to mount the cab. And yeah, I made the I also made the springs. So courtesy of an old garden rake. <laughs> so yeah, it's coming along. It's a slow process. I plan on making everything for this. I've got some gears for the rear diffs. I'm gonna make those, make the rear suspension, drive line. All that stuff. I'm not sure what I'll use for a transmission yet. That'll probably be the one thing that I do buy. I guess. And uh, yeah, I'll make the dump box up. And uh, it's going to have twin three-stage cylinders on it to dump it. So that ought to be something that I've never got into before. Is uh, making multi-stage hydraulic cylinders. So that'll be fun. Hopefully it all works out. Anyways, it's coming along. It's looking okay. I'm starting to get more happy with it now. So hope you like it.